with Sam Flannery. She is the winner of the first go of our futurity here at Ruby Buckle, held in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Sam, this, I mean, this run that you made, it's, it's a, really been on your goal list for a long, long time. Tell me about that. Um, always wanted to run sub-17 run. I ran several 1701s. I've never hit the 16s. Um, kind of thought this was the horse that I could do it on. Mm -hmm. So when he said that time, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Now tell me more about this great gilding that you're riding today. I don't know. It's pretty dreamy. Everybody dreams of having a superstar in their trailer. Um, we just kind of keep click making run after run. They've all been extremely consistent. My biggest job is staying in the middle and not screwing it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Now, you are a full-time trainer, correct? You train for a living? For, yeah. Yeah? And, yeah. and you know, tell me more about your background. I mean, why are you so passionate about the sport? Um, my mom was a 4-H leader mm -hmm. and got us into horses. We did absolutely every single event, um, but we always loved the afternoon when the game events came on. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I think in college I got rid of, I quit doing the judging events and started barrel racing. Worked for Zoanne Huffman, a cutter, and she let me, she, they had annual sales, and I trained a bunch of horses to go on the sale and put them on the pattern. Got my first fraternity horse in 1992, placed everywhere, somehow, everywhere we went. Had my next horse in 95, and I've had a fraternity horse ever since, wow. which totally dates me. Well, what do you love about the Futurity, you know, setup and the Futurity programs? Um, I'm goal-oriented. What started it was putting that money out there, you know, back in the day you could start in May, you know, and have something ready to go in August. Um, laid that money down, I had to have that horse ready to go. Kept going, met friends, I love, I don't know, I know the rodeo world says they're like a family, well, the Futurity world's also like a family. Um, I like the people, I love the colts, I love, I don't know, I like training. I get very bored with an open horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate to keep horses in shape. I like to train. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know. Every year, you just keep going. There's a lot of dreams out in the pasture. What are some of your core training philosophies that you have built your program around? Um, my horses are pasture raised, which is probably why I get along with Levy. He was also ranch raised or ranch raised, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, we give a lot of breaks. We start them as two-year-olds. We give breaks. They're behind cattle. They're versatile. There's no stalls. Um, they're horses. Mm -hmm. I think that helps me a lot. I don't, now everything is changing. I'm an empty nester now. I need to shift my whole timeline a little bit because I used to work around the children. Well, they're gone now, so I don't have to do that. Um, I think I can start doing some of these earlier things, mm -hmm. which I did do this year, and it was obviously fun. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, now, I know barrel racing is also very family-oriented for you. You yes. run barrels. Your sister runs barrels. You both know, sisters run barrels. Both sisters run both barrels. Sisters. So talk about that family aspect and how you can enjoy the sport together. Well, that's where we say hats off to Ruby and Pink Buckle because we all get together here. Mm -hmm. All my fraternity horses are going home Thursday morning. My sisters are going to... Pull in here Thursday morning. I'm only going to have one horse left, <laughs> and it's going to be like a vacation. <laughs> so, but we all, you know, like I said, our mom was a 4-H leader. We all took off in the barrel racing. We all are very well mounted right now and having fun sending each other videos and good lucks all week long. Well, we love that you guys come and you participate in this and you really, you know, take advantage of that and enjoy it as a family. We do. I have a few more questions about Levy. What is it about him that you think it just has that it factor. I mean, he's, you mentioned that he, he clocks, he always clocks maybe faster than he appears to be running. He's smooth. Um, he's smooth, he's got extremely efficient footwork. He's got no wear and tear. You know, he doesn't, you know, I don't know, some horses like lay it all on the line. Well, I mean, he's efficient with his feet. Nothing slips, nothing trips. And he just goes, he basically goes right where I tell him to go. Yeah. You guys make a beautiful team, and Thank you. just I want to acknowledge too, you guys are the only team to run a sub 17 second standard pattern today. So hats off to you. Thank you for coming and being a part of this. We're so happy for you, and congratulations. Thank you very much.